Here are five quick tips on how to get your man ready and feeling in control during your next photo session. If you're about to have your photo session, or if you just want to freshen up on some skills on posing, then this video is for you. Not only are we going to go through those tips and tricks, I'm also going to be showing you everything in action in a live photo session. As a special bonus, today I'm going to share with you one of my personal techniques on how to look thinner in every photo you take. So tip number one. Men and women, in this case, take a deep breath. And that's going to straighten your spine and going to give you those broader shoulders. We are going to just go over a few, a few things on how to pose men. So um, primarily for uh, Theodore, we're going to go ahead and start off with um, tip number one, as long as I'm not stepping in the hole, tip number one is actually going to be breathing. So what I want you to do um, to start off with is take a deep breath and what that's going to do is uh, that's going to line up your spine and it's also going to put out your chest so that you're going to have a nice broad shoulders for us, okay? So we start off with that and uh, go ahead and give me a little smile, there we go. One, two, three. All right. Um, perfect. Tip number two. Men, we need to handle our hands. And that's one thing that we forget to do and what to do with our hands. We need to have, put them somewhere. And one of the things I want you to think about is where you place your hands is going to make that difference when it comes to your photos. So what I want you to do is to think about putting those in your pockets or putting them in um, on your, your spouse or your the person that you're going to be taking photos with's hand. Okay, so I know I'm going to be dating myself right now, but I want you to think about the Fonz. Hey! <laughs> well, not just for that, but he was the master of his hands. So I want you to look back and, and see how he has his hands either in his pockets or somewhere else besides just on the side of his body. So think of the Fonz. So step number two, tip number two is what do we do with our hands? We have to handle our hands. And you know what, guys, we, we never know what to do with them. You know, what do we do with our hands? And um, so on, on this step is what we do with our hands is going to, rather than have us on the side like this, is I want you to think about where to put your hands, like in your pocket, um, or if you have a prop with you, is to bring something with you to hold on to. Um, if you have, in your case right now, you can just put both hands in your pocket. All right. And let's start with that. Let's do the breathe. Breathe in. And hands in pocket. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, one more. One, two, three. Great. Okay. Tip number three. I want you to watch your weight. And what do I mean by watch your weight? Um, watch your body weight. Shifting your body weight from one leg to the, to the other one is going to be extremely important. Uh, but I want you to be thinking about your body weight, having it on one leg versus the other. And again, thinking about the fawns, how the fawns would stand is just another example on how I want his pictures to be in every one of mine. So think of the fawns again. Hey, if you're getting some value out of today's video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel as well as click on that like button. That'll help us produce additional videos just like this one. Tip number three is watch your weight. So it's actually gonna be very good. Uh, and watching your weight is where you're gonna be positioning all your weight. So rather than having weight on both of your, both of your feet, lean into one leg and try to get all of your weight on one side so that, see how this leg is up here? Um, just get all of your weight onto like one leg and get a little bend in the front so that you can shift back and forth between the two legs. So you're looking at the camera that way and just having all the weight on one side. Okay. Oh, get a little squirrel. <laughs> all right, let's get that hand in the pocket. Breathe in. And one, two, three. Very nice. Perfect. Tip number four, bigger is better. And what do I mean by that? Well, basically men 
we have a more masculine look when we are broad shouldered. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about that while you are being photographed is to keep those shoulders broad and positioned in a square against the camera. And I'll go over that with you personally. Tip number four is bigger is better. Um, bigger is better. So uh, we are going to use tip number four and tip number one together, which is uh, we want to look bigger and more masculine. And that's just uh, going to enhance all of your photos when you're taking pictures of yourself or just in general. Um, rather than be on the side, if you are facing the camera straight and parallel to the camera, bigger is going to be better. So you use it, breathe in, get your shoulders out, and that's going to uh, bring your chest out. So you're going to be facing the camera rather than sideways. So go ahead and we're going to go straight, straight on. And let's get you over to the right just a little bit right there. All right. And one, two, three. Hey, I'm just curious, what do you think about having real people in today's video instead of models? Go ahead and put some comments below letting me know what you thought about that, as well as if you have additional thoughts, additional ideas for future videos, go ahead and put that down in the comments. Tip number five, men, let's leverage our long legs or leverage our legs. Um, that's gonna help you look larger than life, a lot of L's here, um, but it's also gonna give her a place to sit and a place for you to have your legs occupy a little bit more space to give you even a larger look. All right, we're gonna be leveraging our legs. Um, one of the things that we're gonna do is we're gonna take up a lot of space. And the way, uh, the way that we do this is uh, just go ahead and use your legs. We're gonna take up more room here, lean up against this wall. And we're gonna have An Angelina coming over here and sitting in between when we do a pose together. Okay, so I'm gonna have you do that for me. Go ahead and lean up against the wall. Put that front leg knee up. There we go. Perfect. And awesome. And go ahead and do the breathe in. Very nice. One, two, three. Um, the five tips that we can, basic tips for men on how to pose and get some photos. Um, and specifically for men, these are the basic tips. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now this is for the bonus. Here's one of my personal tips to look thinner in every picture that you're taking. And this actually applies for both men and women. Specifically for men, it's going to enhance the way that you look and give you even more of a masculine look. And that is your jawline. Most of us tend to, when we laugh, is to scrunch up like this. And what that ends up doing is that gives us, unfortunately, like a turkey neck. What I want you to focus on when we're taking our photos is stretching out that neck off of your jaw. Now I'm gonna turn my head here so that it is away from your neck. So get that jaw line out. You could do that. Just pay attention when we're taking our photos to get that neck out from this position to this position and that will define your jaw on every photo. Five steps, together. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the breathing. Okay, and step number two. Okay, let's get our hand in. What do we do with our hands? And I want you to think of the fawns. You remember the fawns? Hey, no, it's been a while. It's been a while. I want you to think of the fawns. All right, so he was always had somewhere to put his hands. He would like, bang, he would hit hit the jukebox and it would start. Mm -hmm. But um, get a hand in one pocket. Okay, uh, watch the weight by having all your weight on one side. Okay, there we go, hands in pocket. And uh, we're also gonna be occupying more space, so we don't wanna have our feet really together. So we're gonna have our legs out just a little bit. Okay, get those shoulders back. All right, and all right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of you. Very nice. One, two, three. Very good, okay. Um, our, we're gonna go to bonus right now. Um, so, as a bonus, this is a this is a little bonus that um, I don't teach everybody, but it is part of um, one of the styles that I use when I do headshots, and that is going to be um, a little trick that I do to separate our neck from our chin area. Okay, so most people, what happens is 
um, when you're looking at the camera, and you can look at me right here too, is um, when we laugh, we go, ha, 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 our neck goes back. Or if we're leaning back like this, we, our neck gets kind of stuck. What I want you to do is, with your shoulders back, okay, um, have your neck go out slightly, so that we're going to define this jaw. Perfect. Oh, that's absolutely perfect right there. Hand in that pocket. Oh, that's perfect right there. Very nice. Let me go on this side here. And same thing. Weight. Shift your weight. Shoulders back. Okay. Neck out. And one, two, three. Very nice. Perfect. Um, that is just a little... That right here is going to define this area and it's going to keep all of those wrinkles from coming out, um, that turkey neck, you know. And it doesn't matter, doesn't matter if you have anything here or not. This versus this is going to look, look so much better. Okay, so that's our little bonus. And that works for men and women. All right, thank you. I want to end this video by saying thank you to Theodore and Angeline for being part of this experience and for helping people just like yourselves learn how to pose and to get better at posing. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, Nikki, and my daughter, Jan, for helping during the filming process. It, I could not have done it without you. And lastly, I want to say thank you to every one of you for being part of this and for helping support my channel.